In this video, we're going to focus on the machinery of terror. We're going to look at how Hitler was able to use the SS and the Gestapo to totally dominate the German population and strike terror and fear throughout their communities. This would ensure that nobody could challenge Hitler's authority. The Nazis controlled German people through fear. And those people who spoke out against them were attacked or arrested, ultimately by the secret police known as the Gestapo or the SS, Hitler's private bodyguard. We know that hundreds of thousands of innocent people died in concentration camps. It wasn't just fear, though, that helped to control the German population. We do know that it was clever propaganda techniques and controlling um, young people's educations and things like the Hitler Youth all that helped to attempt to control people's thoughts and minds. However, ultimately, it was fear and terror that controlled the German public. So let's zoom in and look at the different components that revolved around Nazi fear and terror. Here we have Heinrich Himmler. Heinrich Himmler was the leader of the SS, and it was the success in the Night of the Long Knives that made his role increasingly important to Hitler. We know now that leading Nazi figures actually competed against each other to have increase, to increase their influence with Hitler and their standing within the Nazi party. Henrik Himmler, however, became a prominent and leading Nazi due to the success of the Long Knives and ensuring that Hitler's um, authority was preserved and protected. Now, the SS, they were known as Hitler's private bodyguard. They were absolutely, totally obedient to Hitler. They believed in his beliefs and they believed um, totally in, in his aims. Now, the Gestapo, the Gestapo, although we have them here shown as uniform, in uniform, they were actually in secret, they were actually the secret police. They were the ones who terrified the German public. They would be unseen. There, there, there were several myths and legends about them. And even though there were only 15,000 of them, their influence was substantial. The Gestapo had far wide-reaching powers. For example, they could arrest anyone that they wanted. They didn't have to stick to the normal laws. In fact, they were able to arrest people just on suspicion. They also used methods of torture, and these methods were widely known throughout the public. This was used to spread terror and fear throughout the community, because people would know that if you said something against Hitler just by using a joke against him, the Gestapo could come and arrest you and potentially torture you. Now, the most, one of the most striking things about the Gestapo is that, as already mentioned, there was only 15,000 uh, members of them. But they used networks of public informers to ensure that they found out what was going on in the different communities. For instance, they used block, so-called block informers, which allowed people um, to control a number of houses, for example, 40 to 60. They would spread news throughout the different area, and they were also responsible for spying on people. So this ensured that um, the strength of the 15,000 Gestapo was amplified. Now, they went even further. They were able to influence laws. For instance, they were able to increase laws that were punishable by death from from three in 1933 to 46 in 1943. Now, this is important because it led to an increase in the number of Germans that were actually legally sentenced uh, to death. Throughout the period of Nazi Germany, 40,000 Germans were actually given the death sentence. However, it was their use of concentration camps that struck fear into ordinary Germans. As mentioned previously, the number of crimes that were punishable by death increased throughout this period. And the Gestapo wasn't just used on its own to strike fear and terror or to control the behaviour of ordinary Germans. In fact, the Nazis even took over law and order. They took over the courts. Here we can see a court. We can see judges swear doing the um, Nazi uh, salute. And judges, judges were forced to swear allegiance and make an oath to Hitler. So Nazi law courts were actually used um, to make sure that anybody couldn't get away with what they were accused of. So Nazi influence even extended into law and order in order to control the population. So in summary, it must be said 
that the use of the Gestapo and the SS played an absolutely substantial role in controlling the German population. Many of them were terrified of those two groups, and terror and fear played a prominent role in Hitler's strategy to control the country. Remember, the powers of the Gestapo were extensive, and they were able to influence Germany with just 15,000 members. Remember, they used members of the public, such as those block leaders, um, to make sure that people were spied upon and to make sure that news was passed upon um, to, to members of the community. In addition to that, the Nazis even controlled the law courts, and judges had to swear an oath to Hitler. So therefore, the Germans had the Nazis had legal instruments to make sure that their aims were followed. However, we must be careful. The Nazis also used they also used other strategies to control the population, such as propaganda, education in schools, the strength through joy program to help workers to ensure that they had cheap holidays, and ultimately, fear and terror was just one of those strategies to control the German population.